And since the beginning of the month, indeed the beginning of the year, we committed ourselves on the AM show to what we call a special money moment on the show. And we always have had the box here. And the box is significantly just to show you that you can do something about your saving and financial habits. So this is what you need to do. With this box, just as a form of some significance, you need to inculcate yourself about savings. But beyond that, you also need to educate yourself on financial literacy. So how do you keep your finances as a person, as somebody who works, and significantly how do you hope to um, invest your proceeds, etc., or even pull enough resources into a venture? And, and, and that's the whole idea and, and the thing or the subject that we've, uh, we've set for ourselves to make sure that we, we are in tune with you and, and, and do all the best uh, for all of us. And so just as a form of uh, significance, we decided to put this box together. Every morning we'll put 10 Ghana cities. Mamavi has already, uh, or is going to put hers in. She's in deficit of 10. So I'm putting mine in today, okay? Oh, Mamavi, okay. Mama, you have yours. And Mama, okay, so <laughs> I'll come and collect yes, it for I Parliament. Do, Roland, I yeah. Do. Ha, ha, where, where, <laughs> where are you? Are you at the airport? I, I, I'm seeing the sky and I'm seeing like the stadium. Is that the stadium behind you? Tell me something, Mama. Yeah. That's that's the stadium. That's the stadium, Roland. I'm on top of Job 600. This is the building uh, that houses our members of Parliament in terms of. Uh, office accommodation and I'm privileged really to be coming to you from the top of that structure it's an incredible view you see uh, the conference center right there the stadium you can see the independent square almost all the significant buildings right here uh, around the surroundings it's cool right yeah it's very cool uh, it reminds me of you know um, the bunch played a, a song uh, top of the world so I said you're, you're on top of the world <laughs> But uh, can you tell me the atmosphere there, Mama V? <laughs> oh, it's, it's really quiet. Uh, you can almost feel the breeze from the sea. Uh, uh, the Hamatan doesn't give you a clearer view, but what we have is still very much incredible. Uh, the sky has not exactly cleared up. Uh, you can see all the structures. And when you're on top here, even within Parliament looks amazing. Uh, and you can stay here forever, really. Can you imagine like a cup of uh, tea or coffee, uh, you know, like here, yeah, sipping and chewing on something? Yeah. You are a romantic. I see you've been walking with too many white people. You, you seem to <laughs> love the aesthetics of the world. <laughs> anyway, t tell me what will you be doing <laughs> when you're there? Okay, so Roland, the sit parliament actually ends midnight today. So tomorrow by this time, we'll be waking up to uh, the seven parliaments. And a lot has happened in this particular parliament. It will be good to take a critical analysis of what has happened, the highs, the lows. Uh, just yesterday, names of new leadership also came out for the seven parliament. Uh, so we're going to be doing a critical analysis of the things that have happened uh, there are a lot of bills that we passed as well. We're going to look at some of the significant things that has happened in this parliament and also look ahead, uh, uh, take a critical look at the new leadership. The majority now, tomorrow by this time, there will be minority. They've come up with a list of who would lead them in parliament, same as the minority now who will be majority tomorrow. So we'll take a look at uh, the list that has come up. Fortunately for us, Joe Weiss, who is on the panel this morning on the AM show, uh, has been named Deputy Speaker of Parliament. Uh, so we'll ask him what he brings on the table, what he thinks the challenges uh, will be. Uh, we've got Dr. Rashid Draman, who's a man who knows all about not just the Ghanaian Parliament, but African Parliaments uh, in general. Uh, he is here on our show today. And one man who's also been incredible, Sad that he's exiting Parliament after two terms. Honorable Tete Chai is on our show today. Uh, lots of talks about what happens when you exit, uh, about how some parliamentarians after they exit Parliament become so miserable. So we'll find out what is out there uh, for parliamentarians who leave Parliament after they serve. So the conversation will be rich, it will be deep, uh, and you will enjoy every bit of it, I promise you trust you and uh, did you know that joe weiss will be the the first uh, deputy speaker before you invited him 
I'm just wondering. No, we had absolutely no idea. We didn't know the talks that were going on. Uh, but he's, also, he's, you know, his ranking member on the Constitutional Legal uh, Committee. Uh, and he's a deep man. So that, that's why we, we called him up for this conversation. But it's, it's a plus. It's almost like a bonus that he's deputy speaker in the next, in the next parliament. Great. I forgot that you know about uh, many of the committees that are related to legislations and, uh, and laws in parliament. I forgot about that, Mamavi. But that would be great. And, be careful. And, be careful. <laughs> and, and, but Mamavi, we know that uh, for many of the MPs, they'll be leaving parliament. So um, what will be the line of conversation concerning those who will be leaving parliament? And uh, we're told that at least significantly we have about uh, 125 of them. That's a large number, uh, the biggest we've ever seen in any of the parliaments in the Fourth Republic? You know, uh, in, in preparing for this conversation today, we've been coming to parliament a lot. Uh, and the question that I put to some of the uh, backroom staff, uh, people that you really not see, but they work here. Uh, and one gentleman told me, those who wanted to still be in parliament, but who lost the elections, uh, some of them are pretty angry. Uh, so it looks like some of them didn't have like a perfect exit plan. Uh, for instance, uh, Tete Chai knew he wasn't going to contest again. So he, for instance, will have something in place. But how about those who didn't know they were going to lose? They had all the confidence that they were going to win. They probably didn't plan for what happens to me outside parliament. I think it would be good to put that question to our panel and see what they come up with. Uh, but what I've been told is some of those who lost uh, have been really angry with themselves. Yeah, Tata Chai, he's a bad one. Uh, he's a great acquaintance of mine. I always tell him <laughs> that he's a, he's a naughty man. So, <laughs> but but we, we know that many of them have various expertise in, in their line of work before they came to parliament. Uh, you're, you're not saying that they banged all their hopes mm. Uh, being in Parliament forever or even for the next term, did they? Well, Roland, think about it. I mean, if you were teaching, for instance, uh, and you, you're privileged enough to come and serve in Parliament, would you go back to the classroom if you're teaching <laughs> in a primary school or in a secondary school, for instance? Uh, I think it takes somebody who is real and true, you know, to themselves to be able to go back to what they were doing before. Uh, you probably would want to open up a consultancy if you're privileged enough to have uh, some expertise that you think will be needed. You can team up with a few people and come up with something. I don't know, but certainly it will be maybe a little more difficult to go back to exactly what you were doing before. I think that if we can have a conversation around, let's say, somebody who teaches or works with the health facility and will go back into health administration or teaching, I think that will be significant, at least set the tone or the example for others to follow. Because I, 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 I don't know where this yeah. came from, that if you're an MP, it means that if you go back to your profession, you've gone below a standard. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Well, it almost, sounds, it almost sounds like that. I, I, I am not sure. But to be a member of parliament, remember that when they're on the floor, they're called honorables. That's a big position. Uh, and to, so to go back to ordinary things that you were doing before, you can. It depends on you, the individual, uh, and it, it, I don't know. It means that you have to forget about what anybody else would say. But those are the people we're looking for to be in parliament, really. Not people who live about their means, not people who are isolated from their constituencies. Because if you're within the constituency, then you have to be able to do what the constituents do. I mean, you can have a farm. It doesn't mean that you can be going on the farm, but you can have... Uh, you know, like a large plantation and have people working for you. Okay. Eno en enough of the expert advice and the consultancy for our going parliament. But <laughs> if, if, if you can tell us about um, what you saw when you were driving in, wh what was the atmosphere at the place? Do we have a lot more media people converging at the place? Do we have that influx? And um, if you can extend, since you, you have great view behind you, what do you see at the Independence Square significantly? Uh, no media apart from us, obviously, because it will get heated later on today. So I guess uh, there will be a lot of uh, media people here later this morning. Parliament sits at 10 a.m. Uh, and then getting to, to the end of the day for us, uh, that's when a lot of things will get heated. Because at midnight, uh, it will be over. And then the, the new parliamentarians will be sworn in. So I guess uh, a lot of people are waiting for 
uh, when there's a lot of activity. Uh, we, the place is quiet, uh, pretty much. Security is still tight uh, because, uh, you know, uh, uh, there are security men outside the gates and they will definitely want to find out what you're, what you're doing uh, or what you want from, from the house before they allow you in. Uh, but we're not talking to all the parliamentarians. We certainly don't want the action on the floor of parliament. Uh, we want a quiet conversation uh, so that the points will be made because we want our viewers uh, to have a better understanding uh, of what happens and what will happen in the next parliament. Uh, uh, and inside filler, really. So we don't want all the yeah, yeah, and all those things. Okay. Thank you very much, Mama Viusobwaja. And we know that you're a henchwoman over there. You're going to give us the best uh, of information and elicit the best of the responses for, from your uh, discussant. And we will have a great conversation when we link up to you. But we have to do the newspapers. Um, I All miss right. you in the studio, but I'm sure that we need you also and I hope there. that you... Roland, I hope you actually put the 10 CDs in the box. Yes, I did. You know, I always do it. Only 10. That's what I did. No, 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 no. Tell everybody you didn't want to put the 10 CDs today. You were pushing me to do it on Monday. Seriously. Where did you get that one from? <laughs> um, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm but like, I have Mama, mine. it's okay. We have Echo. to cut your leg. You are talking too mine. much. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you when, when you have great discussions, Mama V.